Hello everyone, Miss Upton here, and today I am going to show you how to draw a pug from the book Pugs of the Frozen North by Philip Reeve and Sarah McIntyre. So all you need is a piece of paper and something to draw with, and remember to pause the video if you need to at any point. So the first thing we're going to start by doing is drawing a nice circular shape for the pug's head. Then we are going to focus on the pug's nose and mouth. So for the nose, we're going to draw a shape like this that looks like the top of a love heart. And then just add a little semicircle above it. And for the rest of the mouth, we are going to just draw a shape that looks like this. And then the tongue flopping out at the bottom like so. And then we're just going to add a little mark here, which shows that the mouth is open. Now, just some little fine details here, some freckles on the nose, the a mouth, like so. Wonderful. Okay, the next thing we are going to draw are those massive eyes. And we want these to fill the rest of the face, really, as they do in the pictures of the book. And then we're going to need to draw those pupils one and two and then we can shade those in wonderful okay i'm just going to add a little bit of detail to the top of the head like so and then the next thing you are going to draw are the ears of the pug so we'll just do a little flick like this and then join the bottom of the ear to the head and we'll shade that in as well and then we're going to want to do the same on the other side and again let's shade it in marvelous okay the next thing we are going to draw is the body of the pug now if you look at the cover of the book the pug is wearing a scarf and a jumper so we'll start by building upon the head and this is going to be our scarf, so let's draw some stripy lines, just like so, to make it look like a scarf. And then we can draw the rest of the body, like so, and it's quite a short body. And the pug is wearing a jumper, so let's just draw a line here to distinguish between the pug's body and the jumper. And I can see in the picture that the jumper has a little bit of detail to it. So I'm just going to add some detail, a bit of texture to that jumper. Like so. Lovely. Okay, the next thing is going to be the tail. So let's do a nice curly tail. Like so. And then we can move on to the front legs, which are quite short. And we can add a little bit of shading to the bottom, like so. And then let's do the back legs. And by drawing it like this, it looks like the pug is jumping through the air. Now, because it looks like the pug is jumping through the air, I'm going to want to add a little bit of shadow underneath him, like so. And then in true cartoon fashion, Let's add some lines to show that he's going quite fast. Wonderful. And voila, you have your pug. 